Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. How are you doing? How's everyone doing too? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Time Meeting. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what message comes through. There is a uh, karmic person who is starting to think about changing things up a little bit. This situation, I see here that this divine masculine, they have a history with this person. So there's a lot of things that this, these two went, went through together. And I see here that this karmic person is rethinking things. This divine masculine is not, um, it's like, they feel that this masculine is not giving their all to that relationship or connection that these two have. They thought that this divine masculine is like, okay, once we are together, this divine masculine and I, we will have this kind of life. Or when we're together, then we'll be happy or whatever the case may be. But I see here that this karmic person is starting to rethink things. It's like, this is not how I imagined our life to be. And they're starting to think that maybe they they are the cause or maybe that they have created this for themselves a bit of a change of heart so this this comic person is thinking that maybe maybe they're not happy with being with me maybe they're not happy being being in this relationship with me and it's not an overnight thing. I think that this karmic person has experienced this for a long time with this divine masculine. They thought that they could change this divine masculine. Because I do see here that they were hoping that divine masculine would be more loving towards them or caring towards them or um, focused on them kind of thing. But I see here that this divine masculine became more distant when these two became a couple or started this relationship whatever this case may be but i see here that they were unaware of how things will turn out it's like once we are together once we are officially together or once we have this title of being a couple or once we become committed right like engaged or married or whatever it is this karmic thought that that would be the solution to whatever they're they're experiencing with this divine masculine they they thought that if there is some sort of distance that these things that are bringing like some kind of um it's kind of like uh to finalize something or to make it official once things become more official then things will get better, but that's not what happened. It's like once everybody knows that we're together, we're in a relationship, that we're married, that we're committed, that we're engaged, that we're dating, whatever it is, right? That things will get better because everyone knows that we are officially together. But I see here that that didn't make much of a difference. Okay, so now these two may be in a relationship, but what kind of relationship is it? Because I don't see that Divine Masculine is giving any type of emotion. I see here there's no there's no love or feeling of emotions or or love or care or um it, it shows here lack of emotions. Like their emotions are not open. Like if Divine Masculine is sad, they won't show it. If the Divine Masculine cries, they won't show it. If Divine Masculine is feeling uneasy they won't show it it's kind of like they put on this very neutral poker face in front of this karmic person and this karmic person sensing like it's like okay imagine imagine this is their day okay so they wake up in the morning and um you know they have breakfast together and then this karmic person's like oh okay so what should we do today and divine masculine doesn't say a word it doesn't show interest it's like okay what should we uh, what kind of activity? Should we go to the movies? Should we go out for lunch? Right? No emotions. No expression. It's like, okay, whatever you want to do. It's 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 like whatever you decide. Whatever you want to do. 
uh, doesn't matter to me, that kind of thing. The response is not um, engaging. The response shows lack of care. And this divine masculine shows lack of interest in that connection. And this karmic person is feeling is like, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't want it to be this way. Because they have this memory of divine masculine as they used to be, as they was, when they were at their best, when they were happy, when they were joyful, when they were connected to you, Divine Feminine. The energy was quite different. It's like they were drawn to that energy and now it's like Divine Masculine, they've lost interest. They don't know, they don't know how to respond to this person and this karmic person is feeling it now. It's like, I don't know if I can continue this way feeling lack or feeling like I'm not being seen. And I feel like this person tries a, a lot, like tries hard to get this to my masculine's attention. Not because they're feeling like um, insecure, but it's more of like they, they feel this need to be noticed. They feel this need to have this um, just feeling like they are needed or wanted in some sort of way. But I see here that this karmic person is like, I don't think I'm going to get that from this divine masculine. It looks like they don't, they don't see me or they're not interested in me. And that looks like that may be the case because I see here this divine masculine doesn't even know what they're doing there. They're confused themselves. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing here. But I see that this divine masculine is not budging either. Kind of like they feel that they are obligated to stay. That this is the choice that they've made and now I have to live with it. That kind of thing. But this, this karmic person is seeing it differently. What I see here is that there's divine intervention that this divine masculine is not, not budging. So what, what, what I see here is that the divine is nudging the karmic person to make some sort of change. It's not, the change is not going to happen from divine masculine side. It's going to happen from this karmic side. This karmic person is going to feel this need to have a change. It's like they are going to get bored with their current situation with this divine masculine because this person is not used to not being Notice, this person is not used to not having that kind of attention. They may have got that attention in the beginning with this Divine Masculine before, but things have changed. And this person, this Divine Masculine shows very little to no interest at all for this karmic person. The karmic person sees Divine Feminine as Divine Feminine is a tough one to follow. It's like I can't keep up with Divine Feminine. I can't be Divine Feminine. I'm not Divine Feminine. So they may have tried to try different ways of kind of like grabbing the attention of Divine Masculine, grabbing the interest of Divine Masculine by trying to be you. I see here that it's difficult to be divine feminine here. They, they say it. It's like, it's difficult for me to be with, be like divine feminine or, or keep up with divine feminine. It's tough. And they feel like they don't, they don't, it's like, what's your secret divine feminine? How are you the way you are? Like, how does, how can you naturally be so good at this? How can this come naturally to you? How can you be this way? They question it. They're, they're co confused. They're kind of like amazed at how you are, like how you currently are or how you've done things because they don't, they don't see it as easy. They see it as something very difficult. It's like, I can't be like divine feminine. I don't know how they do it. What I'm getting is that natural care, that natural loving energy that you have. They they feel like it's very difficult to be that way. It's like how can I be so so um caring or constantly have to think about, you know, divine masculine before myself. It's like they they find it difficult to understand that. They find it difficult to understand caring for somebody else so much or to 
focus attention on them. That's why this karmic person is getting bored. It's like I'm bored of get, trying to get the interest or the attention of Divine Masculine, especially if they don't really have that interest in me. And this karmic is used to getting the attention and giving the attention to self. So for them, it's a challenge. It's a challenge to be like Divine Feminine here. Something that comes very natural to you because it's unconditional love that's coming from Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine. And that's something that they feel like it's it's a challenge for them. It's like, I can't do this. I can't be like Divine Feminine. And I don't know how long I can keep up with this. So this karmic person, going back to the beginning of the reading, they're trying to change something. And right now, the divine is kind of nudging this karmic person to act, to make changes. What's going to come out from these changes? It's going to, it's going to give divine masculine the opportunity to not only see what they're in, currently in, but it's going to give this Divine Masculine the opportunity to stand up for self because they're not doing it in this reading. They're just going day by day. They're just living through that moment. So that sudden change is what's going to kind of propel this Divine Masculine forward to be able to make decisions for themselves, to look after self, to, to nourish self, take care of self, and to understand that they need to respect themselves as well. And not just, you know, take whatever they receive. Okay? Not accept everything that they receive. It's like they'll get a better understanding that they deserve a little bit, a little bit better than what they've been getting. But there's also that self-respect that needs to be there too. So this Divine Masculine, because they have become so closed off in their emotions, this is kind of like to reset, help reset and restore Divine Masculine to get them to where they need to be in order for them to make the changes that they need to make changes for themselves. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.